Well, good morning and welcome to Coffee with the Pastor. Um, today we're continuing our Sermon on the Mount. It's in the section where Jesus says, unless your righteousness is greater than that of the Pharisees, you will not enter into heaven. And he's been going through a litany of things. And today uh, he's going to one of the other laws, which he's going to explain a little greater. And it's in uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 38. He says, you have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt and over, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. In the Old Testament, in the uh, Law of Moses, they had an eye for an eye and tooth for tooth. Now, why that was put in is because sometimes people would want revenge and they would want to take, they would want to do more to the person than what they did. For example, if somebody knocks a person's tooth out, uh, you don't take their life for that. You knock out one of their teeth. If somebody puts somebody's eye out, you don't do more to them, but you put their eye out. In other words, whatever they did to somebody else is what would happen to them as punishment. But it was not to be revenge. It was not to go beyond that. But Jesus is going to go even deeper than that. He's going to say, if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other. In other words, if somebody slaps you, just turn him the other one. Just say, okay, slap me on this one. If somebody, you know, uh, sues you and takes your shirt, says, well, just give them your coat. Uh, if somebody forces you to go one mile, and that, this was happened a lot, uh, they had, uh, the, in the Romans, they had built Rome's, uh, roads all over uh, Galilee and, and Judea, and, and uh, they uh, had mile markers, and they had Roman soldiers there who had pretty heavy packs, and if they wanted to, they could stop, usually stop teenage Jewish boys and, and would have them uh, put on the armor, I mean the uh, pack, and they would have to carry it a mile. Jesus says, eh, if you carry it a mile, just offer to carry it too. And what Jesus is just saying is, is that his followers need to be so sure of themselves, so sure of their relationship with God, so confident in their relationship with God, that when anybody does to us here, if they treat us unfairly, if they treat us abusive-wise, it's, it's not a big deal. We can just say, okay. And, uh, and so he says, you don't need, not even do you need to get revenge about what they did to you. You can just let them and take advantage of you more. Now, that's hard. That's not the way we're taught. And it's not the way I was taught. You know, I, I remember my dad was, don't ever start a fight, but don't ever walk away from one. And uh, that's a little bit of our culture is that, you know, we're not to do that. This goes anti that culture of what we have. But when you are so confident in Christ, uh, you're not so worried about if you're treated unfairly so. It doesn't bother you like it does other people because you know that you're part of the kingdom of God. You know what your future is. And you know you can have some heaven here on earth too. And you're not going to let anybody spoil that for you. And uh, so Jesus takes us deeper uh, uh, than an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Uh, we'll finish up chapter 5 tomorrow when we talk about loving our enemies. And so I hope today you will walk through this life confident knowing who you are in our Lord Jesus Christ, that you're part of the kingdom. And nothing that anybody does to you today can take that away or take your joy away. Have a blessed day.